Hey there, everybody. It's Dr. Alan Bauman from Bauman Medical Hair Transplant and Hair Loss Treatment Center. And so you're trying to shed some pounds, but you don't want to shed some hair. We're going to talk about why weight loss could potentially impact your hair, causing hair loss. And I'm going to share with you what it's all about, how to take care of it, what to do to prevent it, and to get you on the path to keeping your hair while you're losing those pounds. So you might be trying to lose weight or you might have diabetes and you're losing weight on a diabetes drug like Ozempic or Wegovy and you're wondering what's going on with your hair? Why are you seeing shedding? Today we're going to talk about what does shedding look like if you're losing weight, what to do about it if it's happening, how to evaluate it, how to look at underlying conditions, basically everything you need to know about weight loss and hair loss and how they're connected and how to prevent that problem. One of the most important things that we see here in the practice at Bauman Medical is Ozempic related hair loss. And there's been a lot of patients coming through the door today who are on Ozempic, which is a GLP-1 agonist that triggers hair loss. Over many years here at Bauman Medical, I've seen a lot of weight loss related hair loss. And so why is this occurring? Well, hair follicles are a very highly metabolic cellular organ in your scalp that's creating this beautiful hair fiber, but it's very, very sensitive to your nutritional and fuel intake. So if you have something that's reducing your fuel intake, you can start to see decreases in the quality and quantity of your hair. Evolutionarily, hair follicles are a very strong barometer of health and wellness. And also, if you are decreasing your nutritional intake, your body will then shift nutrition to other places to conserve energy. This can result in hair shedding or a decrease in hair quality. Just about anyone who is losing weight could have this change in metabolism affecting their hair. So whether you're on a special diet, a fad diet, years ago we saw the cookie diet, today uh, more people are doing fasting and these medications specifically doing medical weight loss programs. And of course the, the diabetes drugs, Ozempic and Wegovy, uh, are triggering weight loss. And so if you're having any kind of weight loss, even from weight loss surgery, bariatric surgery, you can see some shedding and some hair loss and some hair changes over time. But what are we gonna do about it? So the most important thing is if you know that you're at risk for hair loss, you should seek a specialist before going on these medications. Sometimes you may not realize that you are uh, prone to hair loss. You may not realize you have hereditary hair loss. And the first sign or symptom of that hereditary hair loss is the hair shedding that comes from the weight loss or these medications. A board certified hair restoration physician can elucidate the risks of hair loss in your family, whether you're prone to genetic hair loss or whether you're prone to this metabolic imbalance which could cause hair shedding. We can do an evaluation of your DNA, we can do an evaluation of your scalp to look at different densities and hair caliber measurements to see are you prone to a hair loss situation if you're going to be on a weight loss program. Hair loss prevention could include changes in the nutritional makeup, what you're taking in. It could also include medications. It could also include laser light therapy or interventions here in the office like PRP or even TED. Changes in your nutritional intake could cause that shedding, which would actually reveal an underlying tendency towards hereditary hair loss. So both in men and women, you could see accelerated hair loss in men like a receding hairline or thinning in the crown. In women, you would see more of a diffuse hair loss through the top area first. If you're experiencing a significant shed from changing your nutritional status or a weight loss program, we call that telogen effluvium. That's a sh massive shedding of hair, almost like a shock shed that occurs. Once your nutritional status stabilizes, so should that shedding. But unfortunately, if you're prone to hereditary hair loss or other scalp health issues, it could be exacerbating those things as you go on into the future. What we've seen is that hair loss from weight loss can exacerbate or accelerate your underlying hair loss or scalp health conditions. So if you're prone to inflammation or itching or irritation at the level of the scalp, changes in your diet may exacerbate that, making hair growth more problematic. So if you're out there and you're playing any kind of weight loss program, whether it be with medications like Wegovy or Zempic or bariatric surgery, or even just a change in your nutritional status or diet, you certainly wanna seek out a hair restoration physician if you think that you might be prone to hair loss. We can track your current situation and baseline it, and we can make sure that there's no underlying hormonal imbalance, which can be rectified, and we can make sure that you're doing everything possible to protect the function and the quality of your hair follicles over time. So if you're seeing any kind of shedding or hair loss, 
from your weight loss program, click on the links below and let's get you evaluated and we can talk about it.